with Windows 10 Home? What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof, it's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell the other champs. What have we got here? Razor Blade Advance on the left. Arrow 15 on the right. Both have the 8750H. Do you have a razor blade coming in with the 9750H? Is that what it's called? I think, yep, that's the one ninth generation. Got some ninth generation laptops coming very soon. But I haven't reviewed this one. This is with the RTX version of the razor. And so I've got both here, both the same CPUs. Let's see what the difference is in terms of thermals. Let's get some um, benchmarking going on in thermals. They are both in their performance mode. This one here is on CPU performance or whatever. It's a creator performance. And this one's on the um, yeah performance mode or whatever. Uh, let's run some small FFTs and see what happens here. Boom, straight out of the box, 3.7. All right, let's have a look here. Same thing, small FFTs, 3.9. All right, so let's see how they settle in here. We are using 64 watts on the arrow. We're using uh, 78 watts. So that should mean faster speed, 3.8, 3.5. But let's see how long this lasts. We have uh, the temperature here, okay. So we've got one core. It's about 90 degrees, all the rest seem fine. Actually, I better turn that fan on, eh? Um, also, what do we have here? Okay, so the temperatures are lower. Yes, the speed has dropped there, and we can see we settled in there to about 45 watts, 3.18, small FFTs. What do we got with the Aero here, Gigabyte Aero? We have, um, yeah, one core at that 90, and some of the cores are actually in the 70s, or one of them's in the 70s. So we're settling in about, uh, we've got to say in the 80s there, high 80s overall package there. And we settled in at 3.4, okay? 3.4, 61 watts, 44 watts, and we got 3.19. Now, these are both in their performance mode, as I said. I will actually go into the Razer and take it out of this creator mode and put it in the gaming mode. But that gives more power to the GPU, but does it make any difference to the CPU? No, so that's sort of pegged on 45 watts there. You can see that's baked in. Temperatures are well controlled there, not even 70 degrees. Uh, let's see if we can crank these fans up, see if we'll make a difference. The power mode is all the same. Okay, so they both got the fans on flat stick now. They're both in their performance mode, and let's see, still the same, right? 3.19, running very cool because it's not really taxing it. it sit, sits in at 45 watts. That is baked in. That is where it's going to stay. Of course, the temperatures are going down now because I put the fan on flat stick. And this one here, maintaining higher clocks, okay? 3.4 versus 3.19 obviously that is cooler because it's running at the slower speed and this one's running at more wattage you know 61 watts or 62 watts versus 45 on that as you see and yeah you get the extra speed but the temperatures what are the temperatures here yeah they're in the 80s as you'd expect it's going faster 3.4 versus 3.2 yeah, there's a little bit of difference there in terms of temperature, but yeah, that is what it is. That's how they'll go flat stick, Prime 95, 100% um, CPU usage, 200 megahertz difference, and you know, 10 degrees difference in temperature. So, with the arrow obviously being the warmer ones, going faster. So that's what it is for CPU. Let's get into some GPU and CPU. Now, by the way, I'm filming on, on the Pixel 3a XL. Tell me if the video quality is better than when I do B footage with my iPhone. What I don't like about the iPhone is the colors shift all the time, like the white balance changes. And just looking at this video, it looks seems to look all right compared to the iPhone's video. So anyway, Cinebench R20 on both of them. Now, the good thing about Cinebench R20, it's longer than R15. And what that means is, a lot of the laptops could sustain like the boost the whole way through Cinebench R15. With R20, they won't be able to do that. They'll have to clock down. So they're both in the performance mode, as I said before. And let's see which one's faster. Now, I won't run them simultaneously. I'll just boom, there, run, boom, run. Okay, so they should start running very soon. What's going on? 
Okay, yeah, here we go. And let's have a look at those clocks here and the temperatures. Clocks and temps. Let's get them up. All right, so 3.48, 3.47, 7, pretty much the same. 70 versus 79 watts. Let's have a look here. We'll see. Oh, that's reduced straight away now to 2.7. The gigabyte is going 3.4 you're gonna to have to trust me there but that has reduced 2.75 uh, 3.1 here on the gigabyte so it's maintaining a higher clock it's maintaining higher wattage there of um, 61 watts versus 45 watts which is interesting 2.7 gigahertz versus 3.12 now it's slowed down a little bit the gigabyte error we'll just keep it here uh, so you can see both of those um, yeah so 2.7 or 2.8 on the error uh, the advanced versus 3.12 it seems to settle in with the clocks there so they're crunching up these things a lot of temperature we got uh, temperatures of um about 80 degrees on the arrow and about it's only like 60 degrees on the um advanced so the yeah that's interesting on the um Razor there, so 2.7, 2.8 versus 3.11 on the arrow here. So I assume the arrow is going to be faster here. It's interesting that is in the performance mode, so there's nothing more I can do. I'll put the fans up more. Why is it going down? It, it's just that, it's just the wattage, isn't it? It's just sticking its 45 watts, come what may, that's where it wants to stick and the gigabyte error will boost up to 62 watts so it's getting that extra speed there so yeah as you can see the gigabyte did start first but yeah you can see that's faster it's going to be faster and it's going to have a higher score because it can maintain a higher clock for longer but that is just all controlled this can do more like 60 degrees are you kidding me why can't you do more than that like you should be getting up to like 80 90 degrees uh, that's what it should be doing. Let it boost up there. Um, very conservative with the clocks there. I'm going to have to see what's going on. But we've got a score here of 2,388 on the gigabyte arrow and 2,092. All right, fellas, the hair dryers are both in full effect here. Now, let's have a look here. Which one's performing better in terms of thermals? Okay, we have 50 watts on the CPU. We have the 45. On the um, razor there now it seems to be locked at that 45 that seems to be how it is they're both in the performance mode we're getting more wattage here now overall the um, this one oh that just dropped then yeah I think that yeah just reached the power limit throttle there or something like that um, overall this is pulling more frames per second so you've got 60 here and you got 55 there so and it just dropped a little bit there on the arrow Ooh, dropped a little bit more so it is um, power limit throttling there or something like that. It must be the temperatures. Yeah, there you go 90. Yeah, it's hitting that 90 and it's backing off Yeah, that, that'll be it. Okay, so but generally this is pulling more frames per second This is running cooler, but less frames per second now interestingly look at the GPU speeds You know you get 700 1700 here megahertz get an 1890 here but this is faster that's because the cpu is pushing more like 46 47 watts and for some reason it seems about 10 frames per second more so, and that's a bit strange because the gpu clock is faster here you can see that we cycle through here we wait until it kicks in again yep okay so and the gpu clock is definitely slower here 1300 versus 1600 yet the frames per second 55 versus over 60 so yeah it is faster frames per second there is some power limit throttling when it hits that 90 there so just be aware of that um, this is more consistent but it is a lower frames per second and it's sort of locked at that 45 watts there which is what 3.3 and this one can boost it does boost up like over 50 watts as you can see here so all in all this will be faster it is faster definitely in the frames per second runs hotter and that's why this is slower they're both the same hardware so you know razor have chosen to sort of you know let it run a bit cooler definitely cooler there you know it's 
not even 80 degrees versus 90 on that. But this gets the better performance. So there's no magic here. You run the system hotter, you will get the better performance. You run it cooler, it'll be a bit slower. Sort of pick your poison there. They're both doing well for thin and light laptops, I've got to say. So, yeah, they're both good in that department. Yeah, interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.